everyone, this is the Patreon exclusive craft for October. It's a wiggly paper snake toy that's customizable. It doesn't behave quite like the plastic ones. I uh, spent quite a lot of time trying to get the balance between um, the kind of strength and the flexibility because a snake is supposed to wiggle in one direction, just like left and right, but um, with the paper version it's not as strong as plastic so there is some give up and down but finding that balance between having some vertical strength and keeping the horizontal flexibility was a bit tricky. So to make these I'm starting off with the head and tail which are a pretty basic papercraft construction but I'm making sure to leave both of the ends open because you don't want to be uh, closing up two different ends and then finding that they were supposed to link together and you can't now. And then each of the body segments, so this really simple cylinder, but again I've left both ends open to make sure that I don't close off anything too early. To join the segments together, close off the straight flap on one of the pieces and then on the other piece, curl the curved flap around it. You might need some tweezers or something because this can be a bit fiddly. I've put the flaps on the inside to try and prevent the joints from catching on each other as much as possible, although this does make it a bit more tricky to glue together. So to customise your snake you can do this one of a few ways. The first way is in Pepakura, which I'll have a download for in the description. This is free software that will really help you out with any of your papercraft projects. If you're just downloading it now, the version you get will look a bit different to mine, but it's basically the same. There are three different files in this format and they're all a bit different depending on how you want your snake to look. The first one is called One Text and that's because it has one texture. This means that if you go into the texture settings you'll find just one image and you can feed in any image into the program and it'll use that and apply it across the whole snake. So the example I've got here is just a, a cow pattern. Um, I've included one that I made really quickly but you can download all kinds of things off the internet. The second version is called 2 Text. This one has two images and the head and the tail are a different image, which means you can create a snake a bit like uh, the classic plastic example that you might have seen. And the third one has different image for every single segment, so you can create something like this example, which is a rainbow snake. The template comes with six body segments, but of course you don't have to use that exact number. You can make more by printing out another page or less just by omitting some. It's really up to you. And to help you create your images, there are these templates for the layouts. So if you open them in something like Photoshop uh, on a separate layer, you can use them to paint in your design below and then delete the top. Of course, you don't need Photoshop or anything. You can do this in paint. Does paint still exist? Yes. Of course, you won't get the transparency or the layers, so it's a little more difficult, but it is doable. And if you don't want to use Pepakura, you can also just draw straight onto an A4 sized image of the template, which I've also included. And that's a really quick explanation of how to make and customise your own little paper wiggly snake. You can also do fun things like use pattern paper, especially if you've got a cutting machine that will cut directly onto a weird shaped piece of paper that you can't necessarily print onto. Uh, or just add things like googly eyes. 
Hope you all enjoy and thanks so much for watching.